All right, y'all just hopped out of the shower. This is what my hair looks like right out of the shower. It doesn't look as clumpy. Good morning, guys. It is time for a morning routine. I've not done one in a while, and my routine has changed a bit based on everything that is going on with me starting my freeform journey and just all these other things that I've implemented in my morning routine. So I'm gonna show you those in today's video. I'm starting off with dental duty. This can be linked down below. You can click on that link. And this is how I whiten my teeth. And you can use this up to twice a day. I use it once in the morning. And then if I get to it at night, I'll do it at night. But since I'm just doing the morning routine, I usually just do this once in the morning. And I do it about three times a week just to maintain my teeth and keep them the color that I want them to be. Cause I do drink coffee. I just think it's important to have presentable teeth. So all I do is literally just twist it and brush it onto my teeth one by one. I leave it in for as long as I can, typically about, you know, maybe three to five minutes. And then I just brush it out with water and then I'll just brush my teeth regularly. But you guys can find this in the link down below and please use my discount code TEETH2151. But this is a crucial step in my morning routine. So guys, like I said, you can go uh, purchase that. The link to that is gonna be in the description and it works really well. Here's afterward. But one thing to consider is don't eat or drink anything an hour after doing it. So eat breakfast before you do it, which that's what I did. I had a donut and coffee and I brushed my teeth and then I put it on and then brushed afterward so that I'm not hungry for like an entire hour trying to eat breakfast. But what I've been doing is I've been taking a picture a day as best as possible. I haven't been taking them every single day, but um, basically a picture a day of what my hair is looking like. I'm gonna go ahead and take it down so you guys can see what it looks like and I'll take a picture. I like to pull it up at night just so it doesn't get all you know clumpy when it comes to laying down at night. So then I'll take it out so it can lay down. One thing that I don't do as much is shake my hair. What I've noticed is if I shake my hair a lot, especially right out of the shower, which I'm gonna be showering today, I'm gonna be washing my hair. But one thing I have noticed is when I shower and I shake my hair, it will pull out the curls and then it won't be all clumpy or they won't be clumped up like this, how this one's all clumped up and turning into a lock. Um, it'll like lose its clumpiness. So that's a tip that I've learned, which I'll explain that in a whole bunch of other videos because I've learned a lot so far. So I'm just gonna loosen my hair up, it should be okay. But I, ha I will say that um, my hair has been looking different every single day. So here's a picture today. So it's pretty cool being able to document these pictures every day. This one's pretty interesting. You can see that this one's like curved. It's because I always tuck it behind my ear like this. And I mean, it's all right for me. Since it is my morning routine, yo, I bit my tongue. Actually two nights ago, so it still kind of hurts. No bueno. So my morning routine, man, what do I do? First off, brush my teeth. One thing that I've learned is if you brush your teeth in the morning, it wakes you up. If you are one of those people that wake up in the morning and you're tired, like brush your teeth right away. And if you need to take a shower right away, do that as well. But I like brushing my teeth because it wakes me up. But I start out with brushing my teeth like you guys just seen. And then I'll typically study for a bit and I'll read listen to music or just relax, have a cup of coffee, have some breakfast. If anything, right in the morning, I'll have like a really, really, really light breakfast. Like today I just had a donut and a cup of coffee, but I usually have breakfast later on in the day, like at nine or 10, after I've studied and got a little bit of work done. But when it comes to my hair, it gets pretty simple because as you guys know, I'm freely forming, but I have noticed a bunch of changes. So I'll show you guys like some quick changes really quickly. You can see that my hair is clumping up a whole lot better and you'll notice a whole lot more once I like shower and um, allow it to dry because I have my hair pulled up so they're all kind of like more clumped than usual but they kind of single out after the shower because what the shower does is it kind of separates the curls when the water runs down your hair it allows your hair to find a curl to go into and then it'll just hang out in that like see this hair right here I'll show you a prime example this hair like once it hits the water it'll most likely get pulled into this curl and then that's where it'll stay and then it dries into that into that curl which then eventually will lock up you see this up here it's starting to lock it does take time but you can see the separations coming in for sure and one thing that i'm trying to not do is like run my fingers through my hair and get rid of knots just because i'm so used to doing that but um i feel like i'm doing a pretty decent job at not messing with it allowed it to do its thing but i'm really stoked on how everything's turning out because it's literally turning out how i expected it to 
and that's just a good sign. So yeah, I'm gonna go shower real quick and I'll show you everything that I do right after the shower. All right, y'all just hopped out of the shower. This is what my hair looks like right out of the shower. It doesn't look as clumpy. The cool thing is once it dries, it all clumps up and uh, kind of finds its own curl to stay in. Um, this is kind of what everything is looking like. Looks like this. And this is how the locks form. They look like curls and then they all just tighten up. And then, um, yeah, they'll just eventually start to form. Now what I'm gonna do while my hair is uh, drying, cause it does take some time. I'm probably gonna finish this test I have for this class I just took. Um, I think I have the test, it's a bring home test. I'm not sure if I still have it. I'm not even sure if I grabbed it. Hopefully I grabbed it. But before I go do that, I'm actually gonna give myself a lineup and then shave my face because I am growing hair in and that's no bueno for me. I'm actually just like rocking a shaved face for now with like a little mustache here. So I'm trying to get this done really fast. Shaving, I'm getting quicker at, but I just wanna get quicker because shaving can be really boring. I'm gonna use a headband to hold my hair back, but I don't wanna keep it in for long because I don't want my hair to form to the actual headband. I just wanna have it in there for a little bit. And this is just to hold my hair back while I am doing my hairline. So my hairline looks pretty decent right now, so I'm just gonna touch it up. Everything else just has to go as far as my beard and everything like that. But real quick, before I actually get into this, these are the products I use in the shower because I didn't really mention that. So for my skin, I use CeraVe face wash. It's the foaming face wash. The foaming one works way better than the moisturizing one, in my opinion. And I also use like a little, you know, thing to scrub my face with to exfoliate. This works great. It's my favorite face wash. Everything else that I use is Dove. I use Dove Body Wash. And I use the original scent with this. This is my favorite. And the shampoo, I use Dove shampoo as well. And it is all the moisturizing. Is this moisturizer? Daily moisturizer. But this still works with drying out the hair in order to, you know, allow your hair to freely form. Because if I already use the conditioner, then that'd be a whole other thing. But I like Dove products. Sponsor me. Alright, that'd be cool. Alright, let's get into it real quick. I'm just gonna be using my Ion 2 speed trimmers. I'm just gonna do a rough lineup. Just touch up. I'm cool with that. Here's the part that's not as fun. Shaving my face. Any of the products I'm using in today's video are gonna be linked down below. Using the shaving gel and this aftershave. They both work great. Also using this magic straight razor. Uh, I'm gonna link a different one down below because this one is mine only. <laughs> I'm gonna spray down my blade with the Cool Care Plus really quick. Just so I don't get irritated. I'll do my chin hairs first. It takes the longest. But I am getting better at using the straight razor. And the reason I shave after I shower is because it opens up my pores and it allows me to cut better without like any tugging on the skin. My goal is typically to try to go as far as I can without cutting myself. I did nickel myself a couple times already. All right guys, I escaped the chin with only like one cut. <laughs> I'm getting better. And then now I just do the rest of my face. Woo. All right y'all, time for the aftershave. Aftershave is my favorite part. Feels good. I feel like this just like goes inside my pores and like burns anything in there that isn't supposed to be there. So I do that and I just wipe it off with my towel. Now that I've finished that, I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. And I'm gonna go do what I said I was gonna do. I'm gonna do my homework and then hopefully my hair is dry by the end of that. Okay guys, it's been about 15 minutes and my hair's still drying. I'm actually going to be putting in um, my face moisturizing routine. Um, so I get some, where is it at? Apple stem cell serum. This is apple stem cell. Um, it's a serum that I use for moisturizer on my face. And then I also use, how I mentioned earlier, the CeraVe. And this is just my favorite, um, you know, facial products. So I use this mixed in with the apple stem cell serum and this works really great. You can probably find this online, Apple Stem Cell. Uh, I got this locally, so you'll probably have to find it online. Since I'm putting on moisturizer, don't forget to put on like a lip moisturizer because in Phoenix, it's totally necessary. And if you're gonna use anything on your lips, use Aquaphor, man. Chapstick will literally dry out your lips. Aquaphor is the way to go. Cause this like hydrates your lips. It doesn't just moisturize. Aquaphor is not only for your lips too, so you can use it on your skin. Um, anywhere, so I kind of just mix it in. All right, y'all, so that is my face treatment. All of um, the lotions and, you know, creams or whatever are absorbed into my skin. And everything's super nice. This is why I like getting clean shaved too. My face, just because it makes my skin look more like an equal tone. 
and um, I don't use any toner or anything like that. A lot of people do, but um, I think just moisturizing and washing your face is what keeps your face at a you know an equal tone. But that's as far as my face. I already did my teeth and the process of my hair drying. And this is kind of just my morning routine. I actually just went downstairs to eat again. Candace is watching the movie downstairs. That's probably why you're here. Not a movie, but a TV show. That's why you hear that in the background. I'm gonna head back to the office and finish up some stuff, and then I'll show you guys the finished look of my hair. All right, you guys, that is basically my morning routine. I'm just working now, basically, and uh, finishing up everything that I do in the morning. And my hair is pretty much completely dry, guys, and this is what it's looking like. You can see the separation and everything, and this is what you want it to look like. I'll show you guys the front, um, that there's some separation at the roots and it just takes time. I'm gonna do a dreadlock update real soon. Obviously they're not fully formed and it does take time and freeforms look different than if you were to get a methodized hairstyle or a dreadlock style just because these don't look like the form of dreadlocks until they're actually locked up versus if you do twisting with gel they look like locks and they eventually lock up or sponge rub eventually locks up or any of the other methods that will eventually lock up but they look like dreadlocks while they're locking versus freeforms that look like you know dreadlocks after they're actually locked so it is a long process and i'm taking a picture you know every single day and uh that's going to be included in that video so stay tuned for that i'm really excited to drop that video but yeah that's just as a quick little um you know get not get ready for me but like a uh, my morning routine what i actually do it's really basic pretty quick and um, I try to keep it as quick and basic as possible. The reason for that is so that I can like focus on other things and uh, not spend so much time on, you know, like trying to figure out what I'm gonna do in the morning. So like I make it pretty simple. Besides, you know, like the products I use in the morning, I guess that's the stuff that stands out. Like I said, all that stuff's gonna be linked down below. And uh, I love all the products that I use. All the skin stuff that I use is really high, highly recommended just because um, Candace recommends that. She worked at a dermatology office for a really long time so she knows quite a bit about that and then um, all the hair products basically just washing my hair and uh, everything like that is pretty basic pretty simple and um, besides that I mean I shave my face and uh, moisturized brush my teeth I actually did the teeth whitening this morning but if you guys do want to purchase the teeth whitening kit click the link down below and you can use my discount code teeth2151 and that takes 15% off of your Amazon purchase just use that discount code at checkout and it'll help you guys out. That is my morning routine, guys. It's very basic, very simple, especially with freeform hair versus, you know, methodized dreadlocks or anything like that. It makes my mornings very simple, so I don't have to do much. Maybe I'll do a night routine and show you guys what I do there. If you guys want that, comment down below and I'll definitely do one. There's not gonna be a question of the day or a product of the day just because this video is very quick and simple. But please leave comments down below, ask me questions because I answer them in these videos. And there's not a product of the day just because I use so many other products and uh, you guys can check out all the products that I use today. But if you guys do anything like me in your morning routine, comment down below is the same for you and I wanna see what you guys do. But other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you guys do have an amazing day. Matter of fact, have a great day. Peace out and God bless.